Instructions for the rivet bracelet. Assemble your supplies, ensuring everything is within easy reach. Ensure clasp fits. Check that each end of the leather strip fits into the clasp. Once checked, remove the clasp from each end. Adding rivets. Take one rivet top, the front, and one rivet back. Ensure the bracelet is face up. Push the rivet top, the one with the pearl or the moonstone, through the first hole. Turn the bracelet over and push the rivet back, the flat one, onto the rivet front. Press lightly until you hear a click. Repeat step three, A and B, until all rivets have been added to the holes. Setting the rivets. Note, always stand up to set rivets. Assemble the rivet setter. Refer to the assemble rivet setter instructions. Be sure to use the bracelet die, six millimeter size die. Turn the bracelet so that the back side is face up and place the bracelet in the rivet setter so that the stone sits in the hole in the die base. Hold in place as shown. Grasp the rivet setter handle at the very end with the dominant arm. Pull the handle straight down, slow and steady, no jerking. Press slowly until there is a slight click or the pressure changes. Check that the rivet is secure and has been set flat and straight by running hand across the top of the rivet. If the rivet breaks or is set uneven, it can be removed with a small flat head screwdriver or pliers or by cutting off the top. Continue setting until all have been set. Adding clasp. Ensure to set magnetic clasps the correct way for gluing. Face magnets away from each other with one of the magnets exposed, which means face up as shown in photo. Unscrew the super glue cap. Carefully apply a line of glue to one end of the leather strip. Do not apply too much pressure to the tube as the glue will flow out too quickly. Slide the leather strip into one magnetic clasp. It helps to do this corner first. Be careful to avoid getting any glue on the clasp. Hold clasp in place and count to 10 so glue sticks. Note, if some glue gets onto the clasp, goo off can be used to remove it. Repeat with other end clasp. Remember to check the magnet direction. Set braces aside and allow 24 hours to dry. After allowing to dry for 24 hours, check with a small tug on each end to ensure both clasps are secure. Note, due to the nature of the leather, sometimes clasps may need to be re-glued. Place the insert card in the organza jewelry bag. Add the bracelet to the bag. The logo should be facing outwards behind the bracelet. 
pull the drawstring to close the bag.